And ladies and gentlemen, welcome back into some Championship Sunday COD action at the Cheeto Wunga Game Arena Modern Warfare 3 kickoff event. It has been an amazing weekend. We started with just over, I believe, 60 teams entering this tournament, and now we have dwindled it down to four. It is our final four here. Winners finals action. Ajax, we are getting into this one pretty early. New Jersey Prodigy and the Houston Spartans. It's that time for winners finals. Like you said, it's the final four with parties of four. Four players on each team trying to get that much closer to the eight thousand dollars in a bit of a different story to be told because we would expect to see fourth space esports all the way up there in winners finals but instead they've been uh, fighting their way through loser side to have to play up against team acrylic and new jersey prodigy is a big part of that shift going into this next match they may have got the upset but you talked about it a little while ago the consistency how are you feeling about the spartans going into this match I feel really, really confident in the Spartans. I mean, we've talked to a lot of teams today, and a lot of people have been talking about that missing aspect of getting scrims for hard points. It's been very hard for a lot of these teams coming in, a lot of S&D being played. I think for the Houston Spartans, though, one of the most dominant hard point teams we have seen in the tournament so far, I think they continue that here in this series. They are the only ones who have been basically keeping it away from super close matches outside of that first map one that we saw earlier against team acrylic where sub base was very close but sub base has been very close for everybody so far so not too surprised to see that that turned out that way but right now it is all on how do they stop kanwa in his insane dominance they've had on a hard point and uh, matt i don't i don't know what the route's gonna be to do to handle that yeah, I, I don't know if there is a route. I don't know if you can stop this man. It may only be able to contain him. And especially looking at this map set, Invasion Hardpoint, right off the bat, we know Houston is going to be flying around. They're going to be looking for gunfights all over the map. Terminal SND to follow that one up right after, but we're getting into it. Map one action between the Houston Spartans and New Jersey Prodigy. Winners, finals, a trip to the Grands on the line. Matt Man and Ajax in the booth. Here we go once again. Type the light things up once again here on Invasion. This has been the most commonly picked map for Hardpoint throughout the entirety of the weekend. Big open areas, big open gunfights are going to happen pretty often, and that first one will be no different as we're sitting there trying to get a hold. And so far, not looking too hot for the New Jersey Prodigy control that they had early. They get cooked as they're all in there. Everybody dropping in a free switch up for the Spartans. Absolutely. It's still blue in this kill feed. We do have the blue of the Houston Spartans. A little bit of teal coming from the side of the New Jersey Prodigy. It is the Houston Spartans that are locking this hill down from right now. But Rep's got to get out of there with his life. Not going to be able to do so. T Grizz locking that hill down the last 15 seconds. Do go the way of New Jersey. But they're going to have to make this quick push onto P2, which is already being locked down by the Spartans. Feels like it's five nights in New Jersey because jump scares are coming from everywhere. And that, that is not what you want to see if you're on the Spartan side as they lose that little bit of a lead they had. But they do get the early rotation over that they do need to make sure that they start to build those points right back up. And it is Houston locking this hill down right now. Still finding kills all around on the rotations, but it's slowed down a little bit now. Rep just trying to watch this mid-cut action as Click comes from the other side. Finds one, finds two. T Grizz with the third as well. That's three dead in the feed. Four dead as spit all over Rep right there. It's going to give New Jersey pr all the time they need. And if I playing the hottest playlist you ever seen right now and everybody's starting to converge a little bit on heading back over towards the B point. B2 right now. Do they get one? Yes, they do. They get the pick off. They're looking for Choco running along the side to see if he can get the back line there. They're going to instead get the hit anyways. Choco falls right afterwards, though. Everybody trading off, but the Houston Spartans had a very small moment of control. Uh, just a small moment. Uh, going to last very very shortly as we try to make these rotations now on to p3 they're almost knotted at 48 apiece 48 to 43 as we head on to p3 it does look like new jersey prodigy going to be trying to get there but they're going to get chopped down in their prime two kills come from chaco and kanwa and that will be houston spartans locking down this hill t grizz is going to be trying to come up from the side takes out chaco and now houston still in control but they're getting converged on from all angles and speaking of, yeah, everybody tossing their nades in. Conwa is going to catch him slipping. Ooh. That's going to be not one, but two, actually. Everybody falling. Conwa also going to click in the mix, dude. Does he get another one? No, Spitify is going to get him. Finally shut him down. Spitify with the kills right now. Another one for Spitify. Lighten up the kill feed. That teal purple, or sorry, teal color for New Jersey Prodigy. 
53 seconds. They look to try to implement a lead change here, and we're all ready, starting off almost dead even through the first three. It's time to take out the loans because you're gonna get ready to move over pretty soon to the frat house. We're heading towards that direction right now. We got a couple seconds left for free. We're gonna get a contest actually from Conwa. Trying to steal back the last couple seconds there from New Jersey Prodigy who have a momentary lead. Momentary lead, but it could be over very, very quickly as Houston all over this P4 hill. Spitify is gonna be trying to find a way to lock it in here. Deddy popped, ready to rock, but he's only gonna get sat down by Purez. And now the lead change for the Houston Spartans once again. We talked about it earlier, Purez also being one of the biggest reasons why they were starting to collect those Ooh. Ws too. He picked it up as the map went along. Getting stunned is rep though. Trying not to poke his head above. Spitify looked like he got a little data, but at the moment, everybody, one, three, four, all heading on over. And Basic starting to head on over to the other position. And Tigre is going to be able to take out Perez there. Now I'm trying to make the ladder play. Going to elect to go back over to the stairs. Still going to get shut down by Rep, who's on a five spree right now. Looking to implement some streaks here soon. As like Ajax said, the frat house invite only to get into this hill. And it does look like New Jersey Prodigy going to be the first ones here. But they do have one player to deal with, which is Conwa. Trying to become a nuisance. Trying to lock down at least a little bit of this hill. But after he gets taken down, this is going to be New Jersey's frat house right now. Right here. Conwa got to say, you're not cool enough for this party for only a second, but he said, sit down, old man, get out my way as he gets back in there. New Jersey Prodigy showcasing exactly why they were able to perform so well, keeping this incredibly close where many other people have struggled against Houston all day long to even keep the points this close at the four minute mark. You know, I was just thinking for a minute, gotta be one of the worst places to visit, right? A New Jersey frat house. That's yeah. just two terrible places in one. I mean, look, New Jersey caught a whole lot of strays yesterday, but all we're doing is speaking the truth at the moment. <laughs> at the moment, they are still showing everybody up in every way possible. His click catches Conwa looking over to the other entrance, not seeing him coming. And they're going to be able to lock down the last Bro. little bit of seconds. I mean, Perez is just running and gunning right now. Every gunfight he takes, seemingly able to win right now. 12-9, and nine, not the craziest KD we've seen this weekend, but nonetheless, still on a heater as Tigre is in basic. How to basic on taking a hard point right there. Tigre has been very good at winning trade-offs himself, but Conway has a very awkward position. He gave up himself, so he's going to have somebody coming to meet him right now. Ooh. But instead, he gets the drop shot. He gets one. Now he's backed up. There's going to be two of them entering. Do they take them all out? Yes, they do. And that is a clinical hard point break from the side of the Houston Spartans right there. Open that hill up. 38 seconds left to work with as they continue to mount on this lead. Click's going to try to run in to find one, but all he's going to find is Perez. Perez finds a second. Now the spin, but not going to be able to find any more than that. Basic will clean him up. Still a contested hill right now. And Basic, okay, with the two-piece, still locking this hill down, trying to implement a lead change. You see multiple tosses Ooh. in there. Moved out the back line. They're going to try oh! to go jump over, but he was a little bit off on his jump. So Basic gets a free one, and Conwa's going to get the trade off there, but Perez went down on what looked like a free shot. I mean, absolutely. I really thought he had the kill. He could sat down there, and it's now Spitify and Click, who have now found two on the other side of the map, and this P2 looks to be in full control of New Jersey, but you got to look towards your backside here. Chuckles trying to make a play through the mid-cut. Not sure if he sees who's standing right behind him. This is an awkward gunfight fight over there. I think he finally does take him out as Perez tries to make his way onto the hill, but Ajax, a back and forth, a mixy map as New Jersey. Again, another lead change, and... We keep saying it. How are you going to top the series? And they say, watch us. This is how. Let's give it a second. We got you, King. At the moment, it has only <laughs> been King of the Hill gameplay for New Jersey as they have cemented themselves in exactly where they want to be. They are controlling P2 so well. They are sitting right in the middle of where it is so frightening to be out in front. And they have won nearly every single fight. Basic picks up Perez. Spitify caught Rep. Choco finally catches Spitify, but they have been on fire. I mean, it's absolute pandemonium on the map right now. 10 seconds now to go the way of the Houston Spartans, but it's that dire rotation from P2 to P3 all the way across the map. You've got to get here early. You've got to make sure that you're winning these rotational gunfights. And it does look as the way of the Houston Spartans are going to be here. They're going to be set up, locked and ready to go. But you've got three-man hit coming from the side. Uh -oh. Toes sticking out for click, and he gets sat down. You know, he is close enough to New York that the Tims were a little bit too out there. The big boots getting caught over on the right-hand side, and that is not what you want to see. Rocking the Tims, baby. Love it here. Championship Sunday. You got to look your cleanest as Rep looks to look for two. Oh, no. Oh, almost thought he had the three-piece. About to make me fall out of my chair right there. 
But if Conway coming in to clean house, making sure that that does not get away from them. So they're able to hold a moment of reprieve, but it's time to withdraw from that ATM, get some cash money on the board as that number continues to rise. Yeah, it can, does continue to rise right here as New Jersey Prodigy is able to find a foothold in this map. Houston is in the three, rather P3 set up, but it's going to be a difficult break now for the side of New Jersey Prodigy. They've got to be able to find some of these opening kills to figure out their way in. Well, again, I'm continuing to see exactly why New Jersey Prodigy has been forming so well on Hardpoint all weekend. It seems like they scrimmed a whole lot. A little bit of a miss, <laughs> miss uh, read on where he was trying to toss the stun. So he gives himself a temporary stun, himself a basic, still winning out on that fight, getting himself in, but he gets jumped. Yeah, now the two-man hit coming from the side. Basic's going to have to be here all on his lonesome. He's got to find his kills. Here comes the first. Not going to happen. Shut down. That's going to be the Houston Spartans with still 32 seconds to work with on this hill. Big 1v1 there. Spitify's going to get sat down as well. And now we make our way on over back to the frat house. Let's see what they could do about trying to make sure that they hold this down. They did a great job for a good amount of time there. Conwa was able to sneak in early, but they got rid of Conwa easy last time. Now we have both Tigris and Click hanging out, and Click has been incredible as the match has progressed. He died, he was dying a lot early on, but he's always there for position. It's not about the KD at the end, it's about the win in the column, and right now they're playing exactly like that, trying to get a win here against Houston. And they're trying very desperately, but now only one man left on this hill. They found the gunfights lower. Now you've got to take out the man on site. Chaco trying to find some, but it's Click and Tigris with two in the backside there. Chaco evens things up a little bit, but still 2 OT and climbing right now with side of New Jersey Prodigy as Choco slides in but gets sat down by Spitify. I did not have my DMs open for you to read, sir. Go on, get out of here real quick. Spitify is over on the side covering Tigris over by the window. They see Perez walking way up, so they do get some data on that. You can switch up, let him jump out there. Ooh. That's going to be a quick shot from Conwood, but a trade-off back from Spitify. Yeah, Perez has to find these gunfights here, but he's going to get sat down by Basic. And now the time starts to become a factor. Only 10 seconds left needed for New Jersey Prodigy. They're slowly creeping up on the 250 mark, but it's got to be done here. You've got to find one of these gunfights. Choco tries to fly on in, but he gets sat down the last kill up rep will get it and stop the time at 247 live to fight another hard point you had to make a power play but now it's time to make the only place you can you have to get in there early you have to make sure you do not let them get established it's currently only three points left for prodigy to put themselves on the board early and this fight is being taken to them tigris does fall though they get three in the hold all the bodies dropping on the side of prodigy and it's an amazing hold here for the side of houston they've done everything they needed to do and now are fully set up they just need to lay in wait take the gunfights as they come Ooh. to them but click finds the first the shots into the second absolutely finds the second gets the third click with all four 250 224 and a beautiful map one win from the side of the new jersey prodigy click showcasing the reason his name exists clicking on every single target on the screen standing up showcasing why they were able to get the job done man what an incredible job tinker is able to finish up the end there but that was about to be an ace in the hole for click he was about to take everyone out like we said before, even with the fact that he may have taken the most deaths, he was always in position where they needed it the most throughout the whole match and when they needed it the most at the end to make sure that that lead didn't start to shift away. They do a rare occurrence here, Matt. They actually beat Houston at hard point. And that is a really big... <clears throat> I'm almost shocked, honestly. I'm, I'm a little shocked, to be fair. Because we're heading now in to a terminal S and D, which we don't see very often thrown out from teams, especially this weekend. It's New Jersey Prodigy's pick. Tell me why they take this and go up 2-0. Because I don't know. I might be hopping on the New Jersey bandwagon. I think it's a bit of the, uh, the surprise factor. We talked about it yesterday. Uh, we're or actually earlier today too. I believe this is only the second time we've seen Search be picked on Terminal this weekend. It's always been hard point for good reason. Everybody's just been navigating the map super well. But now you have a bit of a stressful matchup going into here. The wins have been coming in for hard point mostly from Houston. They've still been able to win the Search matches, but those ones have been a little bit closer at points. Now you're going here where nobody else has before. So the surprise factor may be coming into play at the moment, and maybe they catch Houston off guard by deciding to go to Terminal. So I'm, I'm excited at least because we get something different. Search has almost always been on high rise uh, or invasion, so we get a change of scenery. 
Yeah, and it's nice to see that. I like the surprise pick coming out of New Jersey. When you're the underdog, you're going up against a team like the Houston Spartans. You want to throw out all the stops, and that's exactly what we're seeing New Jersey do. They play that first hardpoint map to perfection. Now heading into their own map pick on Terminal S and D, you've got to feel like the scales are tilted in their favor ever so slightly. But here is the problem. You're going up against the Houston Spartans who have been dominant game in game out it's going to be up to the Spartans here to really take this fight to them early find these first bloods and be able to build off of them here on terminal and here's one thing that's happened with the Spartans every single set that they've played they have given up at most one map they never give up any more than that so Will this be the first one? Well, we got we got the whole assembly line coming through. We are not going to win that fight, though. If he was able to catch multiple bodies at once, that would have been a clean sweep coming in for Conway and Choco. But that does not happen as they get that free plant over on A. Yeah, now all left Perez and Rep. This plane is absolutely filled up with players right now. One in the back, one in the cockpit, one in L plane. This is a dangerous position for the Houston Spartans to enter on this bomb site. Looks like they're going to try to set up a pinch with Rep coming in through the backside, but Rep's got to go slow. He's got to make sure he checks his corner. I'm not sure they're going to be prepared for all three players to be huddled up inside, but Rep's going to find one, find the second, one more. Oh my goodness! Rep and Perez go nuclear in round one, giving Houston the 2v3 clutch situation. You could not have asked for a more perfectly timed caster's curse as Jersey had everything on lockdown. They have been playing so well, continuing to impress me as the matches uh, continue. But the worst case scenario happened. Rep caught both of them lined up perfectly to clear house. Absolutely clutch situations, almost exotic like from what we saw in that last SND on high rise. You see it from Perez and Rep right there. A perfectly played 2v3 situation retake. They get the defusal and get the round in the bag. Houston Spartans up 1 0 early here in this one. New Jersey Prodigy got to look to fight back. I will say this though, even though New Jersey Prodigy lost that round. It gave me a lot of confidence going into that round. They got the early control that they needed. They were able to take apart two quick fights and establish it without much fear. And they might be able to do the same thing, but at the moment, that's not going to help by seeing both Spinify and Tigris get dropped. Yeah, I mean, 2v3 situation now for New Jersey. A little nade in from Basic Stun out as well. Going to be trying to find some info there. Both players kind of huddle up around this bottom. I see Click shooting that goes through the smoke right now. He gets taken out himself. Basic may be the last one up, but he's going to be able to find one on the Choco. Bomb being planted on B, but it leaves Basic in a 1v2. Basic has been able to perform extremely well prior to this, so he's going to have to deal with one. He does not get Perez, though. Perez over on the other side ready to cover and even if he did win that fight he was gonna have to probably reload and have to deal with another battle that was already ready to go but oh, man that it's just conti they're continuing to impress but that time houston showing early dominance in those two pickoffs from both tigris and spinify they just could not recover yeah, it's been a great start for houston here through two rounds they're able to get a 2-0 lead here on the board trying to knock this series up at one apiece as well down a map right now Playing on New Jersey's map pick right now, Ajax, very interesting to see that Houston's found a lot of early success here in this one. They get another round on the board right here, go up 3-0. It's going to be a big lead for New Jersey to have to fight back from. Yeah, you see Conway trying to go for their early position uh, read on them. We do have Basic not committing to any position yet. They're trying to get their data to see if anybody is on plane or not. We got plenty of time still left on the clock to start moving. But with that weight, Perez and Rep, who held it down on that last point, Hovering over in the back, you got uh, Choco also making sure you catch the back side of the plane so nobody sneaks up. They're going to have to make a move pretty soon. Yeah, I mean, kind of getting stopped in their tracks a little bit, just trying to decide which site they'd like to make the hit on. It does look like that bomb's going to make its way into A. You got to check your cockpit, though. Conwa finds one, but no more than that. Another nade in from Choco here to maybe do a little bit of damage, but just doesn't quite go far enough. And now the plane taken over by New Jersey. But this is an egregious push here from Rep. He gets sat down. Tigra is now maybe able to get that bomb planted. All right, so this is pretty much the same spot we saw last time, except this time it's only Choco all on his lonesome, and that is not going to be enough to be able to seal the deal. So New Jersey, New Jersey this time able to succeed on a good hold there on the plane. Yeah, they are able to finally get that plane pushed the way they wanted to. And you saw it 
almost the same situation in a 2v3, but once they find that second kill, 1v3 all left onto Choco. Just not a lot of angles that you're going to be able to play inside of that plane. But right now, it's about putting... <laughs> Proving what you've been able to do so far in New Jersey have been nothing but phenomenal and constantly surprising everybody as the matches continue to go. Tigger is, of course, sporting that five kills, but now this is where things matter a ton. You need to make sure that you don't let Spartans start to feel comfortable with going for one for one trades on these wins because they currently hold the lead. Gotta find this map right here as another kill comes through for T Grizz. Gonna even things up into a 3v3. Bomb plant gonna be trying to go down here on this A site. The Houston Spartans electing to really use this plane to their advantage. Now in the 3v3, basic gets taken down off of the wrap. T Grizz sliding in, trying to find one, able to find that kill 2v2. Already in perfect position right now is Purez. Yeah, you cannot enter that way, but you have another one coming from the backside, and Tigris not ready to go in. This is reload time, but he's not prepped to go in either. Sets off the fire. Does he get Purez in the back? Oh, no! Purez oh. holds it down and keeps him from entering. That was so close a few times to, uh, for a perfect lineup to try and go and seal the deal, but he could not get in quick enough. Oh, he oh, actually, actually gets Choco taken out back. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say he gets taken out from actually long haul. So really nice playing your trades there, playing as a team, playing as a cohesive unit. You definitely see why Houston's able to amount this 3-1 lead. And normally, you know, we see the Houston Spartans finding that success in the hard point game mode, really kind of taking it to other teams, using their gunny to the advantage. But now it looks like they're trying to play the chess match with New Jersey. Maybe extend some of these rounds out a little bit, put them in clutch situations, and really test their ice. I think, well, did Choco looking like the knight indeed? Because that was a, uh, indeed a checkmate on where he was from that position. But we're already we're seeing basic fall early. Not what you want to see, but they do get Perez right back. So it's now down to a 3-3. Three 3v3, three. Three three, T Grizz. Couple of shots over, but not going to happen. Click's going to find another one. Chains things end up to a 2v2. Rep. Snaking around the hill right here, trying to find the shots in. Only a couple of hit markers going to do anything there. As we are still into a 2v2, but Chaco finds one on to click. And now leaves click all by his lonesome in the 1v2. Spitify doing his best to try to get that done as he gets it right there. It's only Choco versus Spitify left here. Early Choco over in the middle. Now the looking to try and maybe head back up. He's over by the plane, but he catches him running out. And there he goes, clutching it up once again. Choco was a big part of why they won on search earlier in the prior matches we saw against Acrylic. And he holds it down here again. Absolutely holding it down, locking it in. 4-1 lead now for the side of the Houston Spartans and Ajax. You gotta wonder now, can New Jersey be able to hit the mental regain or we are just going to see a complete domination here on Terminal? I'll say biasly, I want to see it because I want to see more incredible games. So right now it's looking like Houston has hit that marker of confidence that we talked about before. It bears repeating. I know we've talked about it quite a bit, but they have been very, very dominant in most of their matches. And right now it's on New Jersey to prove that they can do it again. But Spitify already getting picked off. 3v3 situation now. T Grizz, like you said, evens things up. Perez does have bomb in hand, looking to make it go down here on the B site. Here's the Chow coming up, going to elect to hold off on the plant for now. T Grizz just playing up on this top ladder position, just trying to see if he can get a peek. That bomb's going to go down. Now he's in a good position. Top rope jump finds the kill. Still to a 2v2. Aims with the back. Oh my god. <laughs> what a T read. T Grizz reading it like a bedtime story before you go to bed. Now the shots from Rep are good, but they're not good enough as New Jersey Prodigy going to be finding their second round on the board and a much needed one at that. I'm wondering if actually, I think I'll think back to that read. I think that Choco actually got a pick off on, I believe it was click on the bottom part of the escalator, gave him the data he needed to be able to close that out. But the fact that they close that out is important indeed because they prevent this from going to a five to one lead. Instead, Matt, they still have some good help here as they put themselves on the board with two now in the match. Yeah, definitely got some fight left, a little bit of gas left in the tank, trying to find their second wind here after going down three rounds. And again, another all-important swing round, which happens so often after you get down very early in these SND maps. It's basic with the bomb. It does look like it's going to be a slow push here towards the A site. A 2-2 split for the Houston Spartans. 
See, again, this is a very crucial point in the set. We have many bodies making their way over to the plane. They did see the grenade go through. And early reveal, Kago's Ooh. favorite position has always been to go to the cockpit. And they pick off Choco in the back. They do get basic in the midst of it as well. Nobody gets taken out by that grenade. But they still were able to get early and often into that plane one more time. And you see, as soon as the bomb gets planted, both of those players splitting up. One goes L plane, one goes back plane. Perez now in a dangerous position. Maybe trying to find a cheeky angle here, but nothing going for him yet. Still 30 seconds left to find this defuse, but still no kills coming through for the side of Houston Spartans is making this very, very difficult. And click hovering over, making sure that he keeps pathway covered. If they decide to sneak the way through, we're just going to go right in there, try to get a peek. Let's get a peek. He's going to see and get the date on Tigris, but Tigris wins out on that, and that's going to prevent them from continuing to build on that lead. New Jersey fighting back once again. Two rounds in a row now for the side of New Jersey Prodigy. They're starting to even things back up ever so slightly, taking it one round at a time. T Grizz, 11 and 4 right now. Definitely the MVP, the leader of this New Jersey squad. Love to see it. It's been nothing but close matches every single time. Incredible job before from New Jersey Prodigy putting that first map on the board with the insane play from Click at the end. And here they go again. Look at Tigris sporting 11 kills over on the other side. Four streak at the moment. He is close to lighting them up pretty soon with one of those uh, missiles. And I don't know if they're ready to see it. And it looks like this time the Spartans also feeling like they want to cover A. Well, who's already over there in the back? Well... It'll be hard to get past Click. Yeah, T Grizz with a couple of shots in early, but mounting to nothing. Click's gonna try to peek into this A site. Only a couple of hit markers able to find that first blood. Opens things up. The bomb does get planted for the side of the Houston Spartans, but losing a man advantage, maybe not the play you wanted to. T Grizz looks to get picked off over there by rep as well. So now all of a sudden they have three to three, and it's gonna be much oh! less than that. As we only we see everybody get dropped. Click. Was able to do it before. Can he do it again? Can he clutch this out? And at the moment, that slide is going to get caught as he made his way up there. And that's not what's going to happen. Not at all. It sat down a beautiful two-piece inside the plane from Perez. And it ends up leaving Click all alone in that 1v3. Just too many angles to check. Taking bullets from every angle. And now we are on map point here. Trying to even things up at one apiece in the series. Houston Spartans. What are you going to do? Well, at this point, all you can do is win, 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 no matter what, because you have to get those wins on the board. You can't let Houston get another one. And they've been able to do an amazing job at keeping A. So this time, it looks like they're trying to head back over the B. Everybody converged on A really early. So it looks like New Jersey Prodigy got a read on that. Rep's going to get the data they need, and everybody's going to start making their way over. Oh, Rep finds two. Are you kidding? opens up the round gives them the man advantage bomb still going to be able to be planted but when you are the lone man holding down a site finding two kills you can't do anything more than that Tigris is gonna get dropped by Perez too. Perez just kept popping off getting three all the way through the round it's all on Spitify to see if he can get the job done he might be able to do it both of them sitting over on the hallway we got a comp we, we got Chunko on his way up too but it doesn't matter he gets dropped and that is going to be the second map going over to the Houston Spartans once again just continuing to coordinate so well I continue to get impressed time and time again by New Jersey but they're gonna even up this set count right now and then incredibly clutched win that they needed especially after that early one that they got from uh i can't remember who it was who got the the clean sweep on the plane but man they needed it so bad yeah i mean there's a lot of rounds that you felt like could have gone new jersey's way and they just don't go that way 2v3s 1v3 situations it was beautiful plays especially in the clutch situations from the side of houston but now we head into a skid row hard point. We're back on HP. You think Houston locks it in now, starts to really have themselves a game, or are we going to see New Jersey take a 2-1 lead in this series? I mean, at this point, who even knows? Because we haven't been able to see much of skid row for, for the entirety of this weekend. Uh, and I, I look, the way that New Jersey played hard point, they were out playing a majority of the time against, uh, against Houston. So what felt like their strong point going into this, they definitely have some work to do but i'm very confident in those comms right now on houston side after getting that dub you could see it in the player cam you could see how confident they look they're re-amped they're feeling good and now going into this next one even they have a shot to try and take back the lead
Yeah, and you know, heading into their map pick as well on Skid Row, obviously feeling good about it. We've seen a couple of Skid Row hard points. We know how well the money hills and how much importance that rotations play in this game, especially when you're thinking about rotating from P1 to P2, because that top P2 area has been such a money hill for teams. We'll see if they're able to keep that going. Right now, uh, we just keep getting blessed with, uh, with amazing sets back to back to back. We're guaranteed no clean sweep here, of course, with the one-to-one -one set. There will be no 3-0 happening, but this is the most coveted position in the entire bracket to try and get this win because this win guarantees you that you end up on the winner side of grand finals you have a cushion of a bracket reset in order to be able to get a dub somebody has to take out that grand finals sitter twice on the winner side that's exactly what you want to have the way that everybody's been playing like biasly i kind of want to see that rematch of uh of new jersey prodigy later on as well against uh fourth space but <laughs> at the moment, we're dealing with maybe everybody else trying to get their way back up to New Jersey in the first place, as they might make that <laughs> they might get that comfortable spot in Grants. Absolutely, I mean, and for one of these teams, you're going to be moving on to the Grand Finals. You get a little bit of a break. You get to wait for a lot of these games to play out. For the other one, though, you drop down into Losers Finals. Now, a lot of people do say the team coming from Losers Finals can sometimes have an advantage because you've just played a game while the other team's been waiting. So it could be something to be said there about being in that loser's bracket. One of these teams having to face the winner. Yeah, I mean, stress is at an all-time high. You're that yeah. much closer to getting uh, the big dub. You're, you're the second overall seed who's trying to make sure that you don't get upset. You're the team who just got the big upset a little while ago, trying to make sure everybody puts respect on your name, which for me, for sure, they've definitely got it. Uh, but... If you go into losers, you have the honor and privilege of having to fight the winner of Team Acry uh, Acrylic in fourth space. Mm. Nobody wins in that scenario. <laughs> no, not at all. I mean, that's why these are our final four teams. They have been the best teams of the weekend, day in, day out. 60 teams we've dwindled down to four. Well, what's one more, right? Let's keep it going. <laughs> Let's keep it going here as we're going to get ready to see. Take a look back at that bracket. Of course, it is one to one currently in the set count. Everybody who, I mean, we have seen plenty of uh, New Jersey fans hanging out in the chat, plenty of supporters as well on the other side. It's been going back and forth, and I love to see it because there's a lot of passion involved with wanting to see the underdog story show up and get the dub. And honestly, at this point, they don't look like underdogs. They look like they belong here, and I have been enjoying seeing it every step of the way. Oh, no, absolutely. And you know, we look at this right now. I, I just, you know, I heard you say something. We've got a lot of New Jersey fans in the chat. Are you guys fans of New Jersey Prodigy, or are you guys actually fans of New Jersey? Well, okay, being fan of New Jersey in itself, I, okay, I, as somebody who lives in the Tri-State area, I will give Jersey this. Them bagels hit. Them bagels are hit. <laughs> now, now I, 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 want, I'm, I want to set fire to the chat, though. Is it Taylor Ham, or is it... Or is it? I forgot the other one. What, what's the other cut called? I don't remember. But what, what, which which one's the right one? Because nobody can figure it out. Uh, but yeah, they're they're definitely big big supports of course for Prodigy, and they for good reason. I mean, we saw for what Click was able to do before Spitify. Everybody is on point with that team right now. No, absolutely. Uh, everybody clicking on all cylinders for that New Jersey Prodigy squad now heading in to a map three hard point. You've already taken one hard point off of this squad. How do you take another one off of Houston right here? I don't know. Also, I remember it was a pork roll. Uh, <laughs> Taylor, Taylor <laughs> Hammer pork roll. Uh, but how do you take another game? I'm mean, honestly play the same way that you played at hard point the first time around. They were they had they had the point more often than not. It was actually on Houston at the very end where they were able to converge and they held down two points in a row. I believe it was point four and five before they had to reconverge back at P one. And uh, they did. They were able to shut it down when they needed to, and that shows me that they're clutch. They know what they know what it takes, and they know how to keep the calms to, well calm. They, they keep everybody together to make sure that they still walk away with that dub. And they proved a lot to me in that first one, where everybody else has just been getting cooked by Houston all weekend on hard point. Yeah, I'm, I mean, it really has been all weekend long. I mean, Houston has just been absolutely dominant in the hard point game mode. That seems like a mode that they feel really comfortable in, and I think. Even coming into this series, we kind of figured that the hard point would be where Houston would find their success in their series. Possibly a couple of S&Ds don't go their way. 
Now that it's the complete opposite, we've seen that this New Jersey Prodigy squad, very good at the run and gun strat. They're never afraid to throw bodies at the hill. They're yep. always willing to play trades for each other. And they're always hitting rotations very, very early. And then coming into s &D, you can see that the slowdown in pace maybe affected them a little bit on the mental side of having to take certain gun fights, maybe losing rounds you shouldn't have lost. Now you find yourself in that third hard point. I think it's just what you said. You've got to take what you did in that first hard point match and implement it into this map three. Because if you let Houston just run rampant and have that playground that they like to have, it can be a very, very long game. And especially heading into Skid Row. We talk about that also. Yes, Skid Row is Houston's pick. But right after that, guaranteed we're getting Terminal hard point two being um, New Jersey's pick. Even though it's New Jersey's map pick, I'm not necessarily confident in that in them in that map just because of how well we saw Houston perform last time out on Terminal HP. Yeah, well, I mean, I will give credit where credit's due. Like the the way that the that Houston has uh, played on Terminal, feeling a little stressful even with the fact that they didn't pick that map. They're still feeling really good going into that spot. But you uh, alluded to something that's actually super important. That if you look back at you know, Click was a big part of why they were able to win that game one. He sported a 16 to 24 KD, but it didn't matter because he was always on rotation first. He was always there to make sure that the team lined up. So even though he would drop first and drop often, he was always lining it up for his team to succeed. So it didn't matter. The team uh, plays what matters the most, and that's what they've been doing very well. And that's why they were able to get that first dub in the first place. So they're not afraid to throw themselves in the middle of a fray, and they got to make sure they keep that up because that's going to be a big part of this going into Skid Row. Absolutely, and we know how important those rotational gunfights and those rotations are on that Skid Row map, especially, you know, we talk about it, that P2 locked downhill, rotating all the way across map to P3 and really only having three lanes to watch to enter P3. You can really get a good chunk of time from your P2 to P3. If they do that, if Houston can do that, lock it in early, get that lead amounted early to where they can just kind of play 30-second, 30 30-second 30 hills they could look to be up to one in the series. Yeah, yeah. Also, I, 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 I see a little bout going on between pizza and the chat. All I gotta say is, uh, look, my personal favorite is New York style. I, I can't, I can't not, I can't not doubt that. But also, Connecticut has had number one ranked pizza for many years in a row. We're, we're holding that dub. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Jersey pizza, Jersey pizza can go out hot. Go ahead, and take a seat out over there. We, we wow. ain't worried too much about that. Okay, <laughs> we'll talk out of the Connecticut boys. I've never. I, I see pizza talk. I got I got an amazing place around every corner. Every time I hear somebody order uh, like fast food pizza, is the way I think of it, it just makes me die a little inside. It's so <laughs> it's not it's good. I don't understand, but not well. Of course, uh, not cooking up as much of a great game as we have been seeing. We're getting into the match momentarily. Somebody did have to step away for one second. They're heading back in, and we should be loading up into map number three in just a moment. And, you know, let's take a quick look uh, again, once again, at our bracket here, because we've talked a lot about this kind of pristine main event matchup here in the winners finals. But talk to me a little bit about that losers semifinal matchup between Team Acrylic and Fourth Space Esports, two top four seeds that got sent down to the losers bracket early. They both handle business against their loser finals opponent and now having to face each other. I mean, who do you really give an edge to in that series? I mean, the fact that Team Acrylic 3 0 the Saints when how good the Saints are playing, that's a huge, like, plus one for me on the fact that they rebounded so well after losing 3 0 to the Spartans. But it's hard to look away from fourth space getting that incredible game five set going and winning it out. So I think I'm feeling more comfortable on fourth space side. But right now, it's about game number three here with the Spartans and Prodigy going into Skid Row. Going into Skid Row. Battling it up, Matt 3, a big swing map here for both of these teams trying to take a 2-1 lead in the series as we are knotted up at 1. Early heal time for New Jersey Prodigy as the slides come on in. A couple of kills from Basic there, 1-2, not the third. Perez will slide around, but that'll be mostly Teal in the kill feed. One more up is Rep, but he'll find 2, and he'll be able to open this hill up for the side of the Spartans. And no bleeding blue going on here. That was, uh, get, it's very similar to that last game. Jer Jersey gets in early. And then they got jumped. It's the exact same play right now. We got everything covered. We're going to run out of that situation. We're going to win that fight, though. Once again, Pure, excuse me, Kanwa is just so good at shutting people down. Yeah, we've already talked about how important these P2 rotations are, and you can already see it. All of these players trying to converge now on P2. It does look like to be New Jersey Prodigy that is in control here, set up, ready to go, top warehouse. 
see if they can make sure that they hold down the warehouse it's time to clock in and get the work done right now it's been looking amazing so far from uh jersey continuing to be able to reposition themselves fast and often but right now click getting one getting almost three in the middle of that Perez able to slow him down and stop the bleeding yeah, stop the bleed for only a second though because what's bleeding right now is the clock 37 and counting now for new jersey prodigy with 34 seconds left to work with on this hill basic gets another one there on the choco and now it's still full control for the boys in teal a lot of free picks on positioning here is what's been happening this is such a hard point to bring Ooh. at certain points well right now we get quite a few we get a free jump up to the top we've got 20 seconds still left for points and we will gladly cash those in yeah, absolutely. We'll cash those in as Houston Spartans look to try to get the lead back in their favor. A couple of gunfights going either way there. Perez, Click, and Rep all finding kills. And it does look like to be New Jersey Prodigy that is winning these early rotations. But you got to look at number three. Chaco's making a big play from around the backside here. They've got to be able to read this. There's one. The backside flank comes in. And now... Houston Spartans almost able to lock down some hill time, but another flank from Spitify able to still hold P3 fully in favor of New Jersey. Yeah, Spitify finally joining the party there was not able to contribute for a little bit, but Spitify is now doing exactly that. He do have three lined up over there. Are they going to try and make a push there? It looks like they will, but Purez gets the pick off. They have another one on its way, though. You cannot get too comfortable in that spot. They have both Choco and Conwa on their way over, but we're going to see Choco drop. We're going to see Choco drop as Spitify hits too. Basic! Lighting up the kill feed. I think he even got one of his own there, but it doesn't matter because New Jersey Prodigy absolutely locking that hill down. Still 15 seconds left to go. They'll go ahead and take that time, put it in the back pocket as the Spartans and Prodigy are about to head up headbutt here on P4. I think this is one of the larger leads that we've seen on hard play at any point in time prior to four. We haven't seen anybody making it to the triple digits throughout the well, well, We're going to stop just shy of triple digits oh here before four minutes. Uh, it's been that close between every single match. I mean, it really has been. Every match we've casted has just been an absolute banger of a match. And this one, no different as T. Grizz lighting it up for three. One of them being his own teammate, though, with the team name. Hey, look, you know what? Sometimes you gotta go down with me. It is what it is. As long as as long as we get the points on the board, that's all that matters. We're gonna see click once again continuing to click heads, but uh, Conwa coming through. Everybody getting pieced up. Perez though has been a nightmare for them to deal with when it comes to scramble situations. Yeah, he really has. But right now, Houston Spartans are able to lock down this last 20 seconds of hill time as we make the rotations onto the P3 fenced-in area. Choco gonna be able to find one there early off rotation. That's Houston Spartans. Holding the last little bit of that time, trying to hit the rotation and trying to lock down some more here on P5. Yeah, you let Purez rock over there, you start working on your way over because the last time it took a it took quite a while to finally break this point. So they need to make sure that doesn't happen, but that does not help us. They saw Conwa fall. Everybody's starting to try and work their way over, and New Jersey just continuing to hold this point down. Absolutely. 120 and counting right now. Still 49 seconds left to go. Spitify. Beautiful kill there. Slide, a dip, and a dodge around, but he'll get shut down by Rep. His click looks to play onto the trades, but it'll be T Grizz. Take Rep out and now clear out the hill for another 10 to 15 seconds of uncontested time. Conwa looking to try and get a pick here. He recognizes where T Grizz's position is. Click is over on the side too. Does he see him? Yes, he does. He sees some fires going off, but he's going to drop down right in front of him. Click once again, clearing house, but Rep finally putting a stop to that. Only putting a stop to it nine and six but what he can't put a stop to is this time that is just continuing to be garnered by new jersey prodigy 160 and counting right now not even triple digits for the spartans yet it has been a dominant performance so far basic now on a five spree 15 and nine maybe adding to add one more to the total <laughs> Jersey showcasing their strength here in Hardpoint all throughout. They have constantly made it so when you finally do break through, you don't get enough points out of it. They're cashing in on so much reward. They now have a, a near 60-point lead. We're going to at least see some of that go back, though, as Conwa and Rep are holding it down. Yeah, still a lot of time left to work with on this P1, but click from the backside and looking to cause some damage. Sees one, but not going to be able to do anything. Tigris and Spitify are going to be able to find two on the other side of the map. Now the kills come in. Conwell on to click. Tigris gets shut down as well, and the Houston Spartans will continue to lock down this P1. We got a pick here for free. Yes, sir. Purez catching click. Trying to make his way on over. The only one up there getting ready for the rotation at the moment is Spitify. Am I doing down. exactly that? Yeah, I was about to say, get shut down there. There's Rez 
Tries to find the gunfight, not gonna happen. Combo with one on to click to 146 and counting right now. This lead has been shortened by a big, big margin here. What was a 60, 70 point lead, now only 20. But the problem is New Jersey is fully locked, cocked, and ready to rock here on P2 Warehouse. It may be a slow start for Spinify before, but he is picking it up a ton where they need it now. He's sporting a three kill streak to see if he can try and build on that. Right now, he's got to hold down the fort. He's got Choco trying to see if he can enter the home. He realizes this is not a good spot. He's got all eyes on the staircase. He's going to slide up and he's going to lose. All eyes on him and now all bullets as well as Spinify on the five spree. 30 seconds left to work with on this hill. They cannot win it here, but the 200 point threshold has been broken as Rep with the pistol trying to look how to get into this hill, but not going to happen. A nade from Chaco going to be able to take him out and the last little bit of hill going to go to the side of the Houston Spartans. It took a it took a nade toss to finally stop him. They have been losing all of the position wars, and right now it's looking like basic. Ooh, instead rep wins out on that basic head position, ready to go, but he gets caught in the aisle. But he's gonna instead get dropped. Now we're seeing bodies drop once again. Every time we see one, it's almost always two back in favor of New Jersey as they are looking to potentially close it out. Yeah, trying to close it out here. Only 40 seconds left needed. Is clicked. Able to find one there, but it's still pinstripes in the kill feed right now. But it's teal in the time. Kamwa from the backside, able to find and take out one. Now pushing in, but he's all by his lonesome. I say, as I didn't even see Chuckle laying down, being a rat, laying on the ground. And it will be Houston Spartans that are able to break into this hill. And still, with 34 seconds to work with, they can get this very, very close. There we go, Spinify getting a two-piece again. He's always walking away with multiple now. Spinify really picking it up where they needed it. Click over the sport and the dub. If anybody had any confusion at all wondering why is New Jersey here, well, take a good look at what they've done over the past few times on Hardpoint. Conway get a, finally get a pick off that he needs as he gets the rotation over, but man, they have a lot of work to do and not much time left for it. But how many times have we seen comebacks throughout this weekend? Every time you think a lead is safe, not so fast, I promise it's not. Kamwa with the huge two-piece. Does get sat down by Spitify, though. Still going to leave the hill vacant for now, but it's going to be taken by the Houston Spartans. Trophy gets taken out by another trophy there. Rep's going to have to do this all on his lonesome. You said this is where clutch moments happen. You, everybody keeps figuring out ways to do it. And right now, the opportunity is going to happen. We're going to see Conrad go up, and he's going to get picked off over by the side. Click, looking to try and make his way back in. He does get spotted through the tunnel, so it's going to be weird if he decides to run in. And he's going to win that fight against Perez. It's an opportunity to try and light up the point and see if they can try and steal it back right now. Yeah, and here comes the push. New Jersey all in all for it. It's three dead clean in the feed from the Houston Spartans, who now, with 20 seconds left, look to implement a lead change here on this hill. Perez slides in, finds one, no more than that. It's all about these P2 rotations. It's the race to warehouse. Whoever gets there first may be able to win this match. There will be no time to be found on this. In fact, there is minimal time left. Like you said, it's time to get control of the warehouse and set up shop. You have to play perfect and basic is going to get cooked. Right now, it is three in a position against the four. We see one drop though right now. You do not want to see Purest fall. He's been so clutch in those big moments. Absolutely so clutch. This rep going to be able to find a nade. It's the only kill that comes through for the Spartans. But now only five seconds left. Three Gonna be happening two and one, nothing going 250 to 223. Another close hard point map, but New Jersey Prodigy absolutely showing out undefeated in hard point here on Championship Sunday. They have been the kings of the hard point throughout the entirety of the day. They were, t they're, they're dealing with the other opposition that we said was the most dominant on hardpoint all day but one big difference of course you heard it from conwell earlier they didn't scrim as much actually most teams did not scrim a whole lot on hardpoint period leading up to this but it's sure looking like prodigy came in prepped and ready to go and that is now gonna completely make me feel super confident in their pick on that fourth map because we said it earlier even though houston has had very lopsided numbers on hardpoint on terminal i don't think that happens i think we see an incredibly close match going into that last one and prodigy feeling good to maybe put another big upset on the board no i mean it definitely so they're in a prime position to do it taking both hard points out of this series like you said we don't have control this weekend it's three hard points in these series back to back in maps three and four we are here we are on the fan favorite the player favorite the everybody favorite terminal hard point it's a map that i feel like houston can find a lot of success on i would say if they hadn't have just lost 
back-to-back hard points against this New Jersey team. I mean, I completely agree with you. I mean, New Jersey is feeling themselves right now. It's it's hard not to be just excited. You saw it in the post game comms. There, they're popping off. They're ready to go. They're ready to try and take yet another W. And it's looking like nobody is going to stop them. But you did mention it before, and I think back to that match where all of a sudden it was looking like they might get the dub in fourth space. Wasn't able to clean house there uh, in that losers quarterfinals. So you never know what might happen because Pobo was able to get the job done. Maybe Houston's able to do the same thing. All I know is biasly at this point with the way things have been going, I want to see game five just to see it happen. But I am so here to see this Cinderella story, quote unquote Cinderella story, if you will, because it's sure not looking like underdogs. It's looking like they belonged in that top four the entire time. I mean, not only looking like they belong in the top four, they're looking like they belong in the grand finals, right? I mean, this is a matchup we could potentially see once again if one of these teams is able to win that loser's finals match and make their way into the winner's finals. However, we are going to have to toss it to a quick break while the players take a quick break themselves. When we come back, it'll be map or action between the Spartans and Prodigy hitting it up on Terminal. Map number four. It's time to go here at Game Arena Coast across Cheeto. I'm out of Warfare 3 launch tournament with $8,000 on the line and only four teams left to go. And one of those teams may not have been expected to be here, but best believe you better expect to see them way more often in this position because right now it is time to see if New Jersey Prodigy get another big W here against not just the number one seed earlier, Matt, but the number two seed here in the Houston Spartans. Yeah, they're looking to pull off the big upset here already with a 3-0 win over Force Space and now trying to complete the story and send themselves to the grand finals. Terminal HP, though, is what stands in the way. They've already been able to take two off of this Houston team. Can they steal a third? Map number four getting underway. The Map Man and Ajax back in it. It's Championship Sunday. Let's get it cooking here on Terminal. Cooking indeed as all the stoves are being lit on fire. Grenades are flying all towards Burger Town. Everybody looking for a, uh, for a peek. Basic gets Kanwa in the mist, so they get map advantage for a moment. But only borrow time moment at that as we're going to see a trade-off. Absolutely, as it's already mixy action back and forth. Pinstripes in the kill feed here. The Houston Spartans back against the wall. You don't want to get sit down to that loser's final. You want to keep going. And here we are, Pasic already finding kills here, but it's just back and forth. No one able to really get a good foothold on this P1 yet as it's contested time here back and forth. New Jersey Prodigy trying to slip their way on in, but they're going to get shut down. Three dead in the feed. And now we're going to have to back up all that into this P2 and look at these X-rays. Three players in blue already waiting on the rotate early and often establishing dominance that's what you're gonna have to do to make some sort of fear happen in the eyes of new jersey prodigy but here's a consistent theme that's happened every time man prodigy will get a hold of the map right off the bat spartans will steal it back but then after that everything goes prodigy's way it's p1 does not matter too much to them it's all about what follows yeah, but what's following right now is a big lead being gained here for the side of the Houston Spartans. 38 seconds left to work with on this hill. They're already at that 50-point mark, doing a really good job here at locking this one down. Kamwa already going to be able to find one there. A kill comes in for basic, but no more than that. Spitify is going to be the last man up through the backside. He gets taken down. Click maybe just trying to find a few rotational gunfights. A beautiful spinorama kill there. As 17 seconds left to go, and we make our way on to the big plan. Click is absolutely a player for the people because every time his feed shows up, he is dropping bodies as he almost gets another two right off the bat. But it was it did have to come to a close at some point. Now Houston start to make their way over, but they do not get much time to try and make their way over as Prodigy. They just take the plane right back. Absolutely, and already looking to implement some kills here, looking to implement some time. 14 seconds only amounted for him here as they're trying to fight their way back in, but so is Kanwa trying to find his way into this plane area. Nothing going for him there. Tosses a nade, not going to amount to much damage. It's just still back and forth action, but it's New Jersey that has completely locked this plane down. 
Like I said before, the points early have been in Houston's favor majority of the time. It's about everything that happens after. And back on that search map too, most of the A point plants were in favor of Jersey, at least at the beginning, until Houston started to run away with it. It looks like Tigris is feeling that same type of way as that early play, trying to see if he can keep it going. Meanwhile, Conwa catching him slipping is Spitify. And we get two. Nope, he was in the middle of a reload, gets caught. And it gets caught out there, and there's another kill in blue as we head on over now to the Burger Town. 85 to 50 right now. Houston Spartans are in control of this hill. But you gotta look who's inside the Burger Town right now as T Grizz and Basic locking this one down. It's a big push. There's a pressure being applied from the side, but it's being dealt with very well as Click, T Grizz, and Click. Three dead in the feed, and it's just like you said, Ajax, that little time in the beginning, always going towards the side of Houston, but New Jersey, right around that P3, starts to lock things in. That early start is always good, but the long game has always been in their favor. Right now, they got two over on Burger Town. Everybody trying to see if they can go ahead and drop an application, but the manager isn't there to take your answer. It's going to be basic instead. Who's going to answer back as he punches you directly in the face? He almost gets yet another one, but Rep finally dealing with basic hiding out in the back. Uh, and he finally gets the kill there, but it's Tigris and Click to add two more to the total for New Jersey. Chaco's going to be able to find a kill to even things back up. It's all going to have to get done here now, heading towards the bookstore. The Houston Spartans are still holding on to this little bit of a lead, about 30 seconds up for them right now as we head in to our last set of first rotations. You take that dub every time you can because right now, the majority of the time, it's been usually Prodigy answering back right away, but that's not happening with Houston. Well, not with that case, they see two and three and four. The entire team goes down. Yeah, all off of the Spitify three piece there to break open this bookstore, lock it down. They're trying to get some reading done, get that knowledge up, but click. All gunny, no funnies. He's able to take out two there. And now the lead chain starting to become a factor if they can hold the rest of this one. Let's see if they can try and keep that lead mm. chain. Just what they've done pretty much every time. Click. Almost getting two, but it's going to be rep recognizing the jump off of the cart there. That's not going to happen. going to get... 15 seconds still on the clock here to gain some free points. We're gonna get, oh my god, the rep, rep just refuses to go down. No, I mean, he is an absolute demon on the map. One of the young guns that is on this Houston Spartan squad. So we still see kills coming in all around the map. It's still the Houston Spartans, though, with a 20 point lead heading into our second set of rotations. It's going to be on New Jersey to try to break into this P1, not allow too much time to get out of their way because this is where the Houston Spartans made that big lead early on, was holding this P1 to P2, and it's exactly what they're starting to do once again. Patience is key Ooh. here on P1, always holding yourself down on the king of the hill position and Prodigy getting swept out of there, but a lot of free points. We're going to get a contest though. We're going to see a drop. So this is Tigris getting a moment to try and keep it building up. Spinify answering back. So now it's their time to get a few points. Trying to get just a few, but only 20 seconds left on this hill, and you're looking at your minimap. It's all about those rotations onto that P2. Four arrows, all for the Houston Spartans, locking that one down. Tigres does find one coming off of rotation, but it's still going to be New Jersey on the back foot. Holding down security in the back line, and that Ooh. is exactly the coverage that Rep needed. Still has that coverage right now. Basic trying to get a pick. You know, Basic also revealing his position for Conwa to go ahead and clean him up. Cleans him up. Sets him down. 164 is rep on a 5-3 right now. Maybe looking to lock down a cruise missile would be huge as they continue to mount this lead. 172 to 133. They've got to find a way into this hill if you're New Jersey Prodigy. It's a good two-piece from the side of Spitify, but can you do anything with it? Now Basic flies in, gets that third kill, finds the second as well. Teal lighten up the kill feed, and New Jersey Prodigy is in. You already see we're taking a look at Spitify making his way back over to the cockpit area to try and see if maybe we can lock it down. Does he get one? Yes, he does. Does he get two? Ah, it's not going to be the case. And we're going to see Houston start to line up. Basic was in position, but it's Choco who cleans house. Absolutely does clean house, and he does give the Spartans the lockdown of this plane that they need to try to get past that 200-point threshold, maybe even extend that lead further. Only up about 20 to 15 seconds right now. New Jersey's got to find another key break. Scary position right now. It's all about coordinating your strikes, and we do get one-for-one one trade. I just got to make sure that you walk into the back in the right way, and he does. That removes the hole that they had in the back. Perez, though, catching him anyways, keeping this point for just a little longer. New Jersey had an amazing push, but Perez shuts it down. 
shuts it down and still 38 seconds to work with and now mounted inside of this plane all the players from the side of the Spartans but they're going down Tigris able to find two there but Perez and Jaco from the backside find two and it's still the Houston Spartans that are locking this time down extending that lead ever so slowly trying to creep up on the 250 point mark at about 220 right now their time to try and keep themselves going with a potential lead right now they need to make sure that that stays that way because they're looking at a deficit to the new jersey prodigies and uh at the moment you take a look over on the left side they have a lot of people lined up but that is all teal heading over to burger town all teal indeed but look who's on the point it's a rep in blue trying to rep the houston boys but it's not gonna happen as he's gonna get shut down there he does find one with the nade but 52 seconds left to work with He'll just pop brand new for New Jersey to lock down this burger town. Can they mix us up a five-star delight burger? Or will Houston break back in and steal this game away? We talked about it many times before. Burger Town is a big part of where the map can start to completely shift out of your favor. You get so many free points just trying to break that zone. That's 30 seconds left. Still, that's going to put them near that 200-point mark. If they don't jump in there soon, the only two that are left, actually, the only one left now is Basic trying to hold it down. It's a free jump in if they want. They have to keep somebody in the back line. Maybe to go for rotate, but they're going to see a pickoff coming from Tigris. Now all on. Oh, wait, a contest late. They don't need a lot of time. They can no longer win it here if you're the Houston Spartans. You've got to start rotating on this bookstore. It's a two for two trade, but Grizz is going to find the third. Now Perez finds the third as well. It's going to be a big 1v1 here. Choco's got to be able to find this kill. He does find it off of rotation. And now on to the bookstore, 237 to 214. Another absolute class hard point match between two teams here at the game arena land. But it's going to all come down to this. Five seconds left. Final match points will be taken here on Goodreads within the bookstore. We're going to see those final points go in favor of Houston, who were able to shut it down. He saw Choco get the amazing picks over in the hallway, saw them starting to make their way over. If that doesn't happen, we see that getting taken by Jersey, walking their way in, keeping that build up, potentially stealing back the game. But instead, once again, as has been tradition apparently with this bracket, Matt, we are heading to a game five. I mean, another map five, here we go, right? I mean, New Jersey Prodigy, they had everything in their favor, up 2-1 in the series. They had already won two hard points, but you hop up on terminal against the Houston Spartans, and this is a map that they obviously have felt very, very comfortable in, in every sort of situation, and now, we also head down to what has been a very familiar site for us today, another deciding high-rise map five, s &D all about the final w here it's not the end of your bracket run but it sure makes it a whole lot easier if you could get into winner's side of grand finals that is exactly where one of these two teams wants to be because you talked about it earlier the four teams remaining we're all shooters and now we're down to i believe the final three so i'm pretty sure there was an update that would happen and i believe that fourth space esports actually took it three one over wow uh, let's see fourth space beats a crowd yeah. with the loser semis yep so wow the loser of this will have to face fourth space nobody wants that outcome and for that matter everybody wants to be on the winner side of grants to avoid the winner of that losers finals match i mean i think the only people who that would actually be excited to play fourth space esports may be new jersey prodigy as they've already had a 3-0 smoke show of them earlier today i mean i it's been a crazy start to this series for Four Space Esports, or rather this Sunday. They go down 3-0 early to a team that they should not have lost to. Then you go in, you have a tough map five grueling map with Pobo Esports. You get it done, you 3-1 Acrylic, and now you await the loser. And as Ajax said, down to our final three teams, and we are going to be sending another one down to the loser's bracket very, very soon here, Ajax. Houston, New Jersey, not at it two apiece. You got to put your money on one. They've gone back and forth all map long. What do you think happens here in our final map on High Rise? Well, for one, every team who has showed up on stream has left everything on the table. There's always been a new all-star each individual match. The all-star for Houston has been Choco majority of the time in the uh, in the search maps but back on terminal it was purez who was able to pick it up a ton so it's going to be on them to shut that down i've already seen it quite a few times though uh you know when when they need it most it seems like spitify picks it up because even with the slow starts he always comes right back in so i think that i think that we see spitify really become a big clutch factor here 
that said, I don't know who to pick. I really don't. I, I I want so badly to try and take a guess at this, but I have I just have I have no idea going into this last one because it's been so back and forth, even with that W that Houston had earlier. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, this series in itself has just been so back and forth as I love this. We are getting into it early. There is no waiting, no breaks. We are getting right in to a do or die map five between the Houston Spartans and the New Jersey Prodigy. It's time to leave everything on the table here in this search map. Can you be the one to take the dub? And right now, Rep only dropping buckets to see Kobe's the grenade over and catching. D Tigris not ready for it. Not ready at all, but he catches it anyway. 4v3 situation now. Rep able to find that first blood. And now the bomb needs to be able to go down here. You still got 57 seconds left, so pressure isn't amounted too much yet, especially with this info on all of these players beautifully played, converging on their positions. Kamwa and Perez able to find one. Spitify, the only man left alive. 1v3 situation oh. here. Bomb planted for the Spartans. Everything looking good for Houston. Was it story or just an accident? Spitify in that position I just mentioned before, when they need him to pick it up, he tends to do so. And this is the time to do it, but it will not be that time right now. He's going to lose out on that 1v3. Yeah, just not what he wanted to see there. I mean, it's a tough position for anybody to be in, even at the highest level. A 1v3 never going to go your way most of the time. And another one there is Rep able to take him out, find his second kill of the map. Gets Houston their first round on the board. Let's see how they answer back here. Remember, this is back-to-back -back first two six, so you can't get too comfortable with any individual win. But you take that every day of the bank and rep. Rep has really been a huge all-star piece, Matt. That we did, you know, we're talking a lot about everyone else, but rep has been just money over the past few rounds. No, and I mean this kid. I've been watching him since he was 16, 17 years old. I'm going to miss a play if I don't hear as we're watching him again. Rep out on the high rise. It's a couple of pinstripes in the kill feed, though, that leaves us into a 2v2. But as I was saying, I've watched Rep since he was just 16, now just able to become available for challengers, getting over that 18 mark. This kid has got what it takes. So really excited to see him get to compete in challengers this year. He's already having a beautiful showing here at the Game Arena Cheetah Wonga Land. What they did what many people have forgotten to do all day is check their corner on that position as we saw multiple comebacks come from that position. But instead, it's all on Choco now to try and win this. He's got two. He had a position to maybe try to drop it, but not there early enough as it was already covering the ladder, and that is gonna even up the count. Yeah, that's good reads out of New Jersey there. They get the shots onto him. They realize he's probably gonna try to hit a rap with the new silence boots. No more sound EQ here in the s &D. You can actually make a few raps here. And even so, beautiful reads from New Jersey, and it evens things up, just like Ajax said. And Ajax, no stranger to us that we're going back and forth. I mean, it's a shit. You figure it'd be a stranger to me at this point, considering this is the very first time over these past few days I've had the pleasure of casting some Call of Duty. Well, man, have I been spoiled along here with you, Matt, if these stories have been amazing. We're going to see Rep almost get caught, but instead he just decides to remove the entire head from Tigris. Yeah, absolutely removed Kanwa ripping skulls here it's click with a hop a jump and a skip into the bomb site gonna take out the planner and that is a big kill for the side of the new jersey prodigy they don't allow that bomb to go down and now able to live fight another day click's gonna find another one there but he's gonna get sat down and now all on to spitify in the 1v2 a little bit easier of a position but not an easy position at that you have only two people this time compared to the three but it's all about figuring out where are they we got heli covered already spitify underneath heli see if he can maybe try and catch someone but it is already revealed it will not be another a clutch attempt spitify not able to get the job done and they gotta figure out a way to make sure they don't get jumped like the way they did at the start i mean can we just talk about this we're already going round for round it's already starting oh. It's already starting. I mean, it's just these teams have given us such a great opportunity to cast amazing COD. I mean, every single series it feels like we get to cast is just going down to the wire. I mean, everybody's built different. They've been going blow for blow all nine rounds. It doesn't matter. They are ready to run the course, and they are throwing hands at it. Luckily for them, everybody piling up. There hasn't really been a sniper war going on, so everybody's been able to kind of walk out free at round start. Basic trying to get into position, see if he can make something happen. I'm going to get planted here very early at a basic. I like this play. It's 
ruthless aggression out of New Jersey Prodigy. They hit early, they hit fast, and they even get the first blood in the round and everything right now, at least in this round. Oh my god, Kanwa. Kanwa! Oh, oh, Kanwa! Dude. Okay, okay, dude. I was about to say, we're playing with our food a little bit too much here. This is map five on a land. Let's calm down. I am not gonna lie, you dropped that kill. You're getting memed on for the next hour from everybody, including the booth. But luckily for him, he did not get caught. So I'm able to make sure he didn't lose that. Yeah, but right now, the still the situation right now for the Spartans is they're still down a man and nothing going. Nine seconds, you gotta find this defuse. Do they get there in time? No, no time left. The defuse and even the 1v1 win from Chucko, not enough to get it done. And New Jersey going to tie it up once again. 2-2 two, two, heading into round number five. I love that early aggressive play. And it's not like it's the first time we've seen it either because they did that quite a few times back on terminal as well so new jersey very aggressive understanding that that's their game plan that did work out for them in this case even losing out on the fights at the end there was no time to get the defuse no no time at all and now heading in to round five as i said not at two a piece I, I mean ajax it, no one seemingly able to find an advantage to find a lead i really feel like it could come down to the first team that puts two rounds in a row up is gonna win this match i mean it's honestly good luck today now with the way everybody's been playing <laughs> there there is no world where you're allowed to have a lead see everybody setting up shop over on the b side there basic making his way over trying to make sure that they don't catch that Ooh. but we have heli position already just barely missing that sneak out as conwa his boots are peeking out a little bit there he might be able to still catch click well, you know those Tims, man. They're really thick. They really ate some bullets there for him. Oh, how how nice of basic. Just to make sure he closes the door after, though. When you go into somebody's house, you got to make sure, <laughs> you know, close the door after. Hey, man, we being respectful. We, we are disrespecting respectfully out here, as you can see. And basic's going to find that first blood here late into the round. Honestly, 44 seconds as they try to get a kill onto him through the spawn. But basic just being a nuisance back there. And this is so annoying when you know you have three players in front of you, but there's just one guy running around in your back just trying to be the thorn in your side especially already being down a player this is going to be a very tough round for the spartans to bring back if they're not able to find a kill quickly so damn funny because he basically went in there and not only opened the fridge but made a sandwich as they have completely sandwiched everybody in between them and it's going to force some early movement now the bomb is exactly where they want it good luck trying to achieve victory after that point a lot of that coming from that very aggressive play back to back rounds by the way on the plant and basic going all the way to the back to remove any type of control they had over the map yeah i mean it was a vice grip that they had right there and it was only time before those players converged on their position it is new jersey prodigy able to win two rounds in a row here they're only up one but i mean as i said first round or first team to find two rounds really could find themselves in a big position here unfortunately for new jersey now finding themselves on the attacking side they're gonna have to find some quick ruthless aggression that's exactly what they're looking to do here a fast a hit three men up towards this a site see what happens here folks up let's see if they can catch it oh no purez getting lit up by the tank so that's actually gonna cost them an early one but we also see tigris catch a shot so now all of a sudden third prodigy looking really good off this 3-2 start with a very early kill 2v3 houston gotta find a way to bring it back right here you don't want to go down two rounds and already what's been a mixy mixy s and d so far rep just trying to find something but all he finds is bullets from the top side and now all on to chucko in the 1v3 we've seen him make some incredible plays but this one might be the play of the tournament if he pulls this off this is all you can do is hope and pray on choco getting another big clutch play he's gonna try and sneak around the drop up top but he does have a very oh, good no! Oh, no. oh no you know oh no you know you know, it's a little bit slippery out there on the ledge. They've oiled it up. The wind is blowing fast and blows them right off the edge of the map. And you now... Know, oh. you, you know, Houston, not very well known for having a whole lot of hills and everything you got to navigate. A lot of straight roads, if you will. So having the drop down low and deal with that altitude level, not going to feel too good. Uh, we expected to see maybe at least one happen uh, for that throughout the entirety of the tournament. Not here in Winner's Finals. Uh, Houston, we may have a problem.
as we are falling <laughs> off the edge of the map here. And the problem now staring Houston in the face is a two round deficit, three rounds in a row now for New Jersey Prodigy. Despite the fall off, Rep has able to find that first blood and give them the advantage here in the round. But New Jersey on the defense, trying to find a way to stop this bomb plant going down, but it's three dead in the feed. And now only one player up, one player down, and the Spartans take it quick, fast, and aggressive to New Jersey in that round, and it ends up bringing a lot of success. It goes without saying, but you needed a dominant round like that. You needed, you needed to be able to come back in and cook, because if you're looking at a two-loss deficit, bad things are inbound with the way Jersey's been playing, but instead, you're able to answer back quickly. Jersey still sports a one-game lead, but you gotta be feeling pretty good if you're Houston after that last one. Yeah, you really do, because that's a big round to get back in your pocket. The difference between going down 5-2 and it being match point and being a one-round deficit with still a lot of COD left to play. Kama looking to hit that early bottom route. I love this play from him. Trying to maybe take some map control here early. Because it does look like New Jersey a little bit stopped in their tracks right here. Rep's going to try to make a couple of cheeky plays outside. Not falling off the map there. And able to play into a couple of shots. Play his life. Yeah, that's the comedy day. after the first one happens. Now everyone past that is like, oh, uh, uh, maybe. Uh. You're a little nervous, you know what I mean? You just got to make sure you don't lose your footing out there on the ledge. <laughs> we'll see if they're <laughs> able to get that bomb planted anytime soon. Being very patient. Again, uh, pa patience is a virtue right here as we're looking for Tigris to get some data. He recognizes that a couple people are over on the B side, so this is... Maybe a push coming in from basic, heading over towards A, but you have to watch out for Choco, who's got sights on it. Can we get a look at number five production? I was about to say, yeah, I thought so. Uh, yeah, another one going along the ledge here as he's trying to make his way up top. Got to make sure you hit the jump. You don't want to fall off, but look at the time. 25 seconds, you've got to get this bomb plant going down soon. It's so what we talked about early. When you're on the offense in these S&D rounds, if you take too long, that clock can definitely start to amount some pressure on you if basic gets taken out planting this bomb this round is all but over basic goes down the bomb is picked up almost immediately but nine seconds left to get it down this map is all but over it's still pinstripes it's a 2v2 going down on the other side of the map oh and the kills come through from rep one more to do it and the houston spartans not us up at four a piece we are not done yet very, very different game plan compared to the first couple of rounds that we saw. Pure is just going in there, not even letting it go to timer, just to guarantee he gets a few extra pieces himself, which will add up because I don't remember what his streak was at, but it potentially getting that much closer to the cruiser missile, getting a little bit of data. He's got three. We've got, at minimum, four maps still that could potentially happen here if they are able to shut it down. Multiple rounds still left, but we're back to that four to four, and I'm not even shocked. And we're looking at what could be yet another round of 11. Absolutely. I mean, if we see a map 5 round 11, there's just nothing better in COD. And these two teams have absolutely produced an amazing series so far. Click the smoke criminal, gonna run through, find one, takes out the planner, but immediately gets traded himself. Even things up into a 3v3, and look at where that bomb is sitting now. Last wanted to be out dead center in the middle, but this is 3v3, like you said, so you could... Take a little bit of time here to try and figure out where everybody's at right now. At the moment, it's all about Tigris trying to see if he could sneak over and catch this kill. You look at Pires, who's right around the corner. He just doesn't know it. 3v3 situation. Such a crucial round here for both of these teams. Knotted at four apiece could give you the match point that you're looking for. 36 seconds left to get this bomb down, and now basic goes down. That's going to give Houston the advantage in the round. Tigris may be able to take one out there. That's the bomb. 28 seconds left now into a 2v2. An awkward gunfight coming up. It's two kills that go either way, and now a 2v1 all on to Spitify if there was ever a man. If you ever needed it to happen, this is the time. He had multiple shots at trying to win the last case scenario, and he lost both, Ooh. and that's going to happen one more time. Spinify cannot clutch it out. As you see, everybody converging, looking, waiting to see. Will Houston take it here right now? I mean, I love the land vibes, man. Everyone surrounding the players. We've got the amazing season COD throwing out some amazing videos on Twitter to make sure you go check those out as well. And now... All left into it. Oh, just to be there. Just to be there, Ajax. Just to feel the energy right now. The tenseness, the tightness in the air. Houston Spartans in New Jersey. 5-4 right now. Match point.
For Houston, a trip to the grand finals on the line. It all comes down to this. Stop all being clutch in the moment where you need it. In the last couple rounds, they slowed it down a bit. They tried an aggressive play last time, but they got blown up for it. A Jersey Prodigy holding onto the bottom with basic. He's been the all-star on that every single time. He's going to run in. Does he catch Pires? Who is over on the side? The Pires is going to actually oh. on that. They trade off with each other, but the bomb is still over there. It gets picked back up. Does get picked back up in hands of New Jersey once again. Going to look to be planted here on the B side. Oh, it's been fine. Not checking his right angle. Going to get taken out, but Kamwa immediately traded. It's now back into a 2v2. Basic, Tigris, Kamwa, Rep, what can you do here? You're trying to make the plays. You're trying to make the kills. It's just so hard Ooh. with the dead silence on the map. Basic's going to be able to find the kill. 1v2 for Chaco. Chaco all on his lonesome right now. They have bodies to kind of lay from their fallen brother and lover by B, but he's got to see what he can do to make sure that he's not one that joins them. Chaco running on the other side looking to see if he can pick off basic while well, the meantime look at the position that they have you get one in that fight you're most oh. likely getting picked off by the other but he, he gets one it's all about Choco trying to take it out here against basic does he get in does he get against to get to the bomb fast enough no he's not needed the 7.5 for the defuse not gonna get it and ajax that only means one thing we are headed to a map five round 11 with a trip to the grand finals on the line it all comes down to this you can see it on the players faces the nerves starting to set in it's getting hot in here but who has the ice we said it back in losers quarters how do we top that game five set we have like found ourselves back in yet like another this. game five <laughs> set last round here in the position where one of these two gets to get the hold of the winner's side of grands and they are fighting for their damn lives to do so i mean it's a big advantage to go in through the ruser's bracket you know that the bracket reset in your favor both of these teams just trying to square up looking for that all important first blood as yes, i love this play from basic just looking to peek these lower angles is he going to be able to find one it's slipping keep it calm right now you see con was over on the other side basic has got the read on him though on what knows that he's there and he's not gonna end up Ooh. winning out it's a one for one trade click gets up getting conwa it's now down to three to two yeah, but Tigris with that kill on the other side, just as you said, evens things up and even gives New Jersey the advantage in the round. A 2v3 situation here. Rep has got to find something. Click with the bomb. A beautiful kill from Chaco there to even things right. up back into a 2v2. It's all about coordination right now. Both players are pretty much on opposite side. They're looking like we're hovering over A. We got who's that over in the building? Choco once again hovering, looking at A to see who's going to be the first one to budge. They can't afford to lose out on this situation. They're hovering making sure they cover their corners that's no. gonna be one oh, no. it's gonna one. be two no we got a one, one for one, one here at the end and it's oh, gonna be it. 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 who closes it out are you kidding houston gets it done and houston the only problem we have is they're headed to the grand finals here looking to talk their business rep is hyped com was hyped everyone feeling the energy right now and what a damn series out of these two teams respect put on their damn names new jersey prodigy showed that that 3-0 earlier wasn't a fluke in that winter semis match but they weren't able to finish the job here because houston held it down at the end very crucial moment that happened with those trade-offs there like you mentioned if tigris doesn't get that man advantage with that shot closeout we might be seeing a different match but instead they're forced down into the 2v2 but it all mattered about being the clutch one at the end it's sure enough it's houston one more damn time able to shut it down you look at those points it tells the story right there as they get the comfortable spot in winter side of grand here with 8k on the line what a series 250 to 224 6 to 3 250 to 233 250 to 214 and 6 5 going all the way to map 5 round 11 they just gave us an instant classic and ajax i'm almost afraid to say it <laughs> but how do you top that well how do we go above and beyond once again to have another <laughs> thriller of a series like that there sure is one way and that's a rematch of what happened earlier in winter semis it's going to Ooh. be fourth space who woke the hell up and the loser side of bracket they took it out and that insane set against pobo earlier they beat team acrylic as well to knock them into fourth place and now it's revenge tour time fourth space heading back up trying to get what they expected to be their matchup earlier but new jersey prodigy after holding that l i will say even when their backs against the wall they still end up getting the job done 
and we just we 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 i don't even know what else to say man like i i just it, what what an incredible set they keep somehow topping the previous ones uh, it, it's just an incredible event right and now down to three teams and it is truly anybody's tournament at this point i mean all of these teams at some point or another have taken maps off of each other i believe we saw fourth space esports get 3-0'd earlier ever since then they've looked unstoppable and now leading us up to that inevitable rematch between them and new jersey prodigy for a trip to the grand finals on the line ladies and gentlemen before we get into it, we're gonna send you to a quick whoa, break. Whoa, whoa. No, we're not. Everybody, no, we're not. are we're we not? not? Are we heading no, right no. in? We're gonna go ahead and talk to Houston about that double oh. discount. We're gonna talk to Choco. Oh, yeah, yeah, we, we got, got to. Part of the closeout, Joko. <laughs> How's it going? Uh, yep. Yo, it's for okay. For one, we asked Conway earlier, "How are y'all feeling going into these follow-up matches?" He was talking about hard point, all that stuff. I just want to know, how's the room feeling after clutching out that last second play there in game it number was five? Very energetic. Everyone got very loud. Everyone stood up and was very hype. Um, feels a little, little bit of stress. Got relieved for a second there. That was a stressful <laughs> map five, you know. So um, feels good right now. Feels feels really good. I mean, you guys. Get as close as you possibly can there. You guys even go down 4-2 mm -hmm. in that last map. You fight your way back. I mean, we had talked about how you guys had really seemed like you had a hard, a hard point prowess and really been dominant at hard point. But talk about it. In this one, you guys get both SNBs yeah. to steal this one away. Yeah, no, Um. honestly, like, you know, both the hard points we lost were pretty close. And the one we won, I felt like it was a little more convincing. So, um. They just played, like, a little different style of hard point than we have been playing all week. Like, against people we've been playing all week. We've been playing a lot of people that play fast, don't rotate heavy. They rotated heavy. They played slower. And, I mean, we kept it close, but, you know, got to give credit to them. They were pretty disciplined and beat us on some rotations every now and then. So, I think it was definitely a wake-up call of how we need to be a little bit more disciplined. But, I mean, the fact that we're still <laughs> able to get the series done after that is pretty nice. Yeah, I think a big part of why people have been getting kind of gut-checked by New Jersey in some positions is that they play very unorthodox in some of those spots. They're super aggressive where you don't expect them to be, and it was really good, yeah. but you, y'all, your defense was just on point. Yeah, no, we uh, honestly, like, we just kind of locked it. Like, that last map, we all looked at each other and we're like, all right, this is this is where ice comes in. We, we win this or we don't, so ice the blank up and uh we did so <laughs> i mean i after com was interview earlier i don't think it matters if you cuss oh, okay. I mean, we, 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 went, we went off the oh, rails okay. we, we went okay. off the rails okay. earlier a little bit me. just just yeah just a tiny bit i mean an amazing performance from you guys i one question to ask you before we let you get out of here you see the two teams down in the losers bracket obviously you just had an instant classic with new jersey who would you rather face coming into the final match here of what could be the final match of our tournament? Um, I don't really have a preference per se. I think they are different types of teams. So, I mean, I don't really have a preference, though. I mean, I think both teams are good, and both teams are going to have to make sure we're really focused and really locked in no matter what. All right, well, best of luck to you and Houston you. over on the winner side of Grands. <laughs> <laughs> Rep is it. <laughs> Inject Houston into the veins yes, because sir. they're sitting on the winner side of Grands. Yes, Congrats you on that dub. There's still more COD to play. Best of luck Thank as we get into you. that. Thank and you. Matt, Matt, we're going to now get ready to head over, like you said, to that short break in a moment. But we have only three left to go here <sighs> in the <laughs> what? I don't know who's standing where on the podium <laughs> at this point. <laughs> I mean, just three incredible teams left who have had an amazing weekend. We've gone from 60 teams down to just three. And now in just really just a few hours, we will be crowning a grand champion. But before we do that, we're going to have a loser's final matchup. And we're also going to have a little bit of a quick break just to give all the players. And I'm not going to lie, the casters in the booth, a little <laughs> second to rest because these players have not been giving us an inch, man. It has been back and forth heated action all day long here at the game arena land so we're going to toss it to a quick break and when we come back losers finals action don't go anywhere 